Hey, what's going on, guys? Tyler here, aka Log.Zip, baby. That's right, everyone's favorite Minecraft YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, except today is going to be a video with Tyler and not Log.Zip. Which, speaking of, if you look to the green screen behind me, <gasps> whoop! Oh, it's right here. I've got a brand new channel. You should subscribe to it right now. It's literally the top link in the description of today's video. It's going to be a brand new channel where I hope to, in the future, do some more videos, more about Tyler and what's going on in my life. It's almost going to be like a vlog channel, but I don't necessarily know if it's going to be vlogs, and I don't think it's going to be video games. I'm 100% certain it's not going to be video games, unless I'm wrong, in which case I'm 99% certain it's not going to be video games. Why am I making that? Well. I want to be able to have a greater outlet outside of just Minecraft and video games to have conversations with you guys back and forth because usually when I do vlogs they're kind of long, they're kind of rambly and to some of my younger viewers or those that just don't care to hear what I have to say they're boring and so today's video is going to be boring as well. Well I don't want to call it boring, I just want to say it's not going to be Minecraft, it's not going to be bouncing off the walls, it's not going to be shrieks and screams and shrill sounds, it's going to be me talking in a calm way if you saw the title of today's video you realize that it's somewhat of a serious topic um i feel like i've let you guys down this year um i literally just recorded this video and it took me about 45 minutes to record the whole thing and i go into some really fantastic detail there but for sake of time i want to re-record it and i want to do it shorter because i want to get the points across to you as fast as i can Long story short, a lot has changed on YouTube in the last year, and especially in the last six months. A lot has changed in my life as well, um, and some of the overlap is not always there when it needs to be. This year I feel as though I've let down my viewers, my team, my friends, my family, and myself. Now, there's a lot of new and, and good things that have happened this year as well. And so it ties directly into what I want my resolution for 2019 to be. Because if you didn't notice, today is the final day of 2018. My resolution for 2019 is to analyze more, is to really deep dive into whatever it is I'm thinking about or considering and try my best to figure out how it works. Because more often times than not, and I dare say almost always, life is not black and white. Uh, one thing I want to do right off the bat is kind of show you where my channel is at right now. So about a year ago, um, you would notice that I did a lot of great videos. And if we look back, you can see them right here, 11 months ago. Actually, this video is from last year. This went up to December 31st last year. But as a YouTuber, you have to focus on viewership in some way or another. And if we look at these videos, I mean, heck, this one's got 14 million views, never dig straight down. 14 million views, 1 million views, 200,000, 150,000, 200,000, 400,000, 1.5 million, 2.6 million, 200,000, half a million, 1.6 million, 700, 500, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it stayed that way for the most part for a long time. Half a million views, half a million views, 1 million views, 800,000, 400,000, 500,000, blah, 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 blah. This was 10 months ago. And so you'd think as a YouTuber, you're growing and your channel's getting better and better and better. But how well your channel does is not directly up to you. A lot of it's up to YouTube. If you didn't realize this, most YouTubers that are growing, they get most of their views from non-subscribers. I mean, think about it. How did you find me? You probably, if you're going by statistics, you probably didn't search for me. You probably found me on the sidebar of a different video. And then you decided you wanted to subscribe. Well, 80% of my viewers are not subscribers, which means that 80% of my views are given to me by YouTube. And so, if you'll notice, as we get closer and closer to recent times, viewership has dropped substantially, where almost none of my videos even break 100,000 views anymore. And most of them recently don't even break 50,000. And that's because YouTube has changed what it wants from its creators. Now, I'll go into that briefly later, but again, I want to keep this video a little bit shorter than the last one I just recorded, and I can already feel it getting a little bit longer than I want it to be. So let me start with how I feel like I've let down you guys, my viewers. Um, first off, there's a whole lot of clickbait going on. Now, clickbait is effective. It makes you want to click on a video. I don't think all clickbait is bad. I think downright lying to your viewers 
is horrible. And so I would say most of my videos, while they do get you to click, they're not downright lying to you. So even though they're clickbait, they're not really lies. They're just, you know, you know, stretch the truth a little bit, right? <laughs> and I feel like you need to do that sometimes in order to really make a serious chance at your video doing well. But it's at the cost of your viewers trusting you. And so I feel like I've let you down in clickbaiting too much. I haven't brought back a lot of the series. Is that a word? That you guys have all wanted to see, like the deep end. I actually recently just did a deep end video. It it it, it did it didn't do that well. <laughs> um, and that's because it's been gone for so long. There's so many reasons, right? You have to analyze. Why did this not do good? Well, it's because it's been gone forever. Well, it's because YouTube doesn't want me to do that kind of video. Well, it's because this. It's because that. It's because of a lot of things. I've been bringing back the series that you guys want to see, like the deep end, like the Tempest box, like Only One Command. I haven't been putting in as many hours. Now that I've got a job at the office, I'm not working 12 and 14 hours a day anymore. I'm working for eight really super concentrated hours at the office. But at the end of the day, it's still less hours. And outside of that, I've been doing way more off of YouTube as well. Now that's good for me, but it's not as good for you guys because most of you are all on YouTube watching this. Well, I mean, you're definitely on YouTube watching this video. Um, but when I do something for Facebook, for example, that takes time away from doing stuff for YouTube. Um, so I feel like I've let you down in a few different ways. I also feel like I've let down my team in not adjusting from being a YouTuber into fully being a leader. Now again, most YouTubers, I would say most, work out of their house, they've got a home office, they edit all the videos themselves, they probably do all the thumbnails themselves, do a lot of the writing, maybe a couple of them have editors, stuff like that. I have a team of 10. Shouts out to James, shouts out to CJ, shouts out to Philip, Lucas, Aaron, Xavier, Stark, Ethan, Henzoid, all these different people that all make up Log.zip and the videos that we produce. There's a lot of moving parts. And so coming, sorry, bad, bad habit cracking my knuckles. Coming from someone that used to just work out of their house all day uh, into being a boss is really difficult. It's, it's hard to wake up early. It's hard to be inspiring every day. It's hard to always put on a good mood. It's hard to be strong during the tough times. Um, without going into too much detail, yeah, we've got a team of 10. And my views have dropped. Again, if we go back to this, my views have dropped about 70% over the last six months. So even though my team has gone up in size, my the money we make has been going down in size. And so it's really difficult for me as a leader to be strong during stuff like that happening. We spend more money right now than we make. And, um, you know, that's probably not something I should be sharing, but I've always been very honest with my audience. And, and I think my team knows it as well because I've explained it to them. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be that way forever. Um, and thank goodness I spent the first five years of my YouTube career saving all my money instead of buying nice Lambos and all these other things. I saved almost all of my money before I had this whole team because I knew one day I might need this money for something more important. But either way, we're still down 70% views in the last six months and the team is big and so it's just stressful and a good leader I feel as though a good leader would have seen this further out so I'm used, I'm getting used to being a leader um I used to just I mean I used to just be a lazy bum I just wake up at 10 a.m record a video and well it's not even that I you know I, like I said I still work 12 hours a day but I only had to worry about myself now I have to worry about so many other people and that's just really stressful um, I've also let down my team and not learning the market, not learning what YouTube wants as fast as I need to be and, and not being able to adapt to it at the speed that YouTube requires us to adapt. Um, and so we haven't been succeeding, uh, at least as well as I'd hoped on YouTube. And, you know, that's upsetting. You know, I've also let down my friends and family this year. Um, I rarely make time for anyone outside of work. Um, I'm only really making time for things if it does involve work. And so I don't appreciate my friend's time as, as much as I should. I do appreciate it. I should just appreciate it more because everyone's got a life to live. And everyone's got a whole bunch of stuff going on. And so, you know, whether they're a YouTuber or not, I need to give their, their time more value. Like Preston, for example. Preston plays. Preston is a superstar. 
uh, the fact that we have a Pocket Edition channel together that's, for the most part, shared. I mean, look at this down here. Do you see this? This is his channel. And and if we look at my Pocket Edition channel, you'll 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 notice something very you know unique about it. It's right here, by the way. <laughs> Did you subscribe to my new channel yet? By the way, <laughs> you should do it. It's literally linked below. But look at this: seventy-five thousand subscribers. We started it or f six months ago, maybe. Almost every video in here is with Preston. And there's a lot of people that want to do work with Preston. There's a lot of people that want to be involved with Preston, and so. I, I, you know, I, of course, have appreciated all of the time that Preston has given me in, in filming with him, but I should appreciate it even more because it's very valuable. Um, and that just scales across the board. Everyone's time is valuable. And so I've let down my friends and in, in really not seeing that because I, I get really caught up in my own time. And to me, my time is the most valuable time, not their time or not his time or not her time. It's my time. And that's an easy trap to fall into. And, and in some ways it's true, but that doesn't mean you can't appreciate the time of others, even just a little bit more. You know, I also let down my family this year, uh, not being there when I should have been at family events. My little sister's a freshman in high school this year. She's had numerous football games that she's done cheerleading at, and I didn't go to any because I wanted to get videos done for you guys as well as for me and my team so that we can keep having jobs. Um, but when she finishes freshman year, she's never going to go back to freshman year. <laughs> Unless she's really bad. That was me knocking on wood. Brooks stay in school. <laughs> um, I let work take control of my life. Most people have hobbies or things they do outside of work. I really don't. I wake up. I get ready for work. Um, I'm at work for eight hours. In the new year, I'll be at work even longer. Um, and then I come home. Sometimes I work out with my trainer. Um, and then I go to sleep usually. I don't really do much else and you know work controls my life and as a result of that I hardly see my family and that's really bad because family is all you got after it's all said and done you've got your family and I've also let myself down this year um, I know I just said I have a trainer but sometimes I'm really unkind to my body I don't think it's any secret I'm overweight like I got I got mm, look at that isn't that adorable <laughs> I've got some serious baby fat on me and uh, I wish I was a little bit kinder to my body like I said, the stress of spending all this money and being a leader, it can sometimes get to me. And, and so as much as I wished every time I was stressed, I went and took a ride on my bike. Sometimes when I'm stressed, I go eat a burger instead because it makes me feel better. And that's it's not healthy. And I've been working out three days a week at minimum, sometimes four, sometimes five. And whenever you eat unhealthy, you're basically setting the clock back on all that extra time you spent working out. And so... I wish I was stronger in, in, in that. It's one of the real downsides about me that I just, just don't appreciate at all. Is I eat pretty unhealthily, and, and I wish I ate better. I wish I was more honest with myself about the needs of my company and of me and, and those around me. I wish I gave myself and the things around me the time and attention that they require because... Being a leader and owning a company, it takes more time than I've recently been giving it. I have not been putting in the time that is required to have a successful company. I've gotten comfortable with the fact that someone edits my videos now. Occasionally people make my thumbnails. People upload for me. People do the tags for me. People develop content for me. People write and think up content for me. Um, I still do a lot of all of it. Well, I still do a little bit of all of it. But a lot of people do the rest, and I've gotten really comfortable with that, and that's a dangerous thing to do is get comfortable, ever. You should never be comfortable. You should always be striving for more and for the next thing. Otherwise, you'll fall behind all the other people that are. And like I said, I've been, I've been spending a lot of money this year, not really on me, but just on the company in general, and, and that, just, that just takes a big toll on me mentally, um, knowing that <laughs> I don't think it's any secret, and I mentioned this in last year's vlog, if you're doing a lot of views on YouTube, you're, you're making a lot of money. And so I constantly find myself uh, comparing myself to other YouTubers who get similar views to me, similar channel sizes, which in some ways means they're making similar money to me, um, except I'm not making any money. I, 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 I pay everybody out with my money. And it's not to say it's all my money. They've all helped me make some of it as well. But all the same, I'm spending a lot of money right now. 
and it really stresses me out because everyone's got their 15 minutes on YouTube and some people know how to extend it for a really long time. Shane Dawson, <laughs> you've been on this website forever. But most YouTubers come and go and they have their time and they make some money and they get out. And I'm spending it all right now and uh, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know how much time I have on YouTube. I hope it's for a w way a lot longer and I'm trying my best to take the steps that are required to stay on there a lot longer. But sometimes things happen in life that are out of your control. You can only control <laughs> what you can control, but I don't control YouTube. And so since I told you YouTube gives me 80% of my views, um, they control 80% of my company in some sense. And so even though I could be doing everything right, they could flip switch one thing and suddenly everything is wrong. Um, and, and that's just really stressful. So I've let myself down in, in not being more responsible with keeping on top of what YouTube wants. Um, but like I said, it's important to analyze. And so even though I feel like I've let down my viewers and my team and my friends and my family and myself this year, we've done a lot of really exciting things this year. And so what I'd like to do very quickly is show you a couple of those things. Here's a game show I did for Facebook, a live action game show. Look at it, win, mine, or die. That's right, baby. Welcome, everyone, to Win, Mine, or Die, the craziest crafting show out there. <laughs> I don't know how many of you knew about this. I'm your host, Tyler Pappas, a.k.a. Log that Zip, and I'm the one who gives and takes all of your points in each of the following three rounds. Guess the build. Banana? It is banana! Yep, yeah, that's right. Die, noob, die. We have a Just whole right. set oh and God. everything. <laughs> it was awesome. It was such a fun time. If you want to check that out, it's going to be linked in the description as well. Now, not only did we do that, but we also did a very fun event known as the Coral Crafters, where I went down to Mexico and we helped regrow some of the coral reefs using some awesome Minecraft-themed underwater goodies. And let's listen into this for a second. What we discovered right away was that we got corals to grow many times faster than normal, and we were growing them at record rates. For this project, we asked our community to design bio-rock installations that will grow off the coast of Cozumel. Stacy Plays built a design chosen by her followers. A couple of my viewers suggested I actually build a mermaid wolf. Log.zip's design was decided That's by the me. worldwide community. So here's the start of the eggs. It's still a work in progress. Yep, it was so much fun. And I had such a good time doing it. And that was one of the first charity events I did this year. Another charity event I did this year is right here. Quarter million dollars raised for breast cancer with Game Pink and Preston Plays at his event. Hundreds of people gathered at the Dr. Pepper Arena in Frisco to watch four of the world's best video There's gamers me. play head to head. They weren't just playing to see who would win many games in Minecraft. It was actually Moosecraft, a huge game raising money and for the National Preston Breast Plays. Cancer Foundation. So, a connection that was that a really awesome experience home. that I got to be a part of. Um, we did a game show. We did two charity events. Uh, you probably saw the advertisements for it. I have a game now. We're on Minecraft.net. This is the Minecraft.net website, and we made Big Block Island right here. This was a year in the making. Could not thank my development team alongside Pathway Studios enough for all of the blood, sweat, and tears, hundreds of hours that went into this project. You can get it right now, by the way. It links also in the description. It's for the Bedrock Edition, a.k.a. Minecraft PE, Xbox One, Switch, etc. It's about $7. It's a great late Christmas present. <laughs> no, but seriously, it took a year to make that thing. And, and it was my first step into game development. Um, and it was so much fun. And as you saw, not only that, but you know, I have a brand new pocket edition channel and this may come as a surprise to some of you, but for a good amount of time, we were also doing all of the editing and content planning for Preston's new pocket edition channel. That's why I was in every single one of his videos is because we were planning them all for him. Now in the new year, he'll be taking over edits alongside his team on there. But we did a lot for this channel in, 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 in building it, and uh, you know I, I'm not embarrassed or, or, or shy about saying that. And I've been live streaming this year. About a month ago, I started live streaming 10 hours a week, and so it's been a serious trip looking at all the different things that we've jumped into this year. Game shows, charity events, full-blown games, more YouTube channels. We've done a lot. And, and that's why it's important to analyze, because even though all these things happened to me that have stressed me out this year, um, even though I feel like I've let down so many of you, um, as well as myself, we've also done a lot of good. And so when you're stressed and you're thinking about stuff, you have to see it 
from every single angle because even if it feels like you're in a bad place it could possibly be the furthest thing from the truth and even though we've spent a lot of money this year keeping things running and keeping things going and, and even though that's stressful to me on paper believe it or not folks this is still my best year on YouTube ever ever in my entire existence now again you gotta look Here's my social blade. I'm gonna pull it up right here. You can see we still have a whole bunch of people watching. 7.6 million people in the last month. But if you see where my mouse is right here at the bottom, right, this was in January, 32 million views. And pretty much since then, it's been all downhill. That's really upsetting. Nine million views last month, and we're about eight million views this month. That means this is my worst month in about two years. My last low month this low, was in March of 2017. And so that's stressful. Um, and so to wrap up this video, um, that's, that's what we're here to say, is the algorithms on YouTube have changed once again. And so it's not necessarily that my content has gotten worse, it's more that what YouTube wants from its content creators is constantly changing. And they have every right to do that. It just means that in the new year, we hope to get back to our roots and start doing the right YouTube content so that we can keep making awesome videos for you guys so that I can keep doing what I love to do and so that you guys can continue to love watching what it is I'm doing. Adapt or die, it's a real thing. If you're not willing to change, then you're going to get lost to those that are willing to change. Um, I look forward to a fantastic 2019. I thank you all for watching this far into the video. I hope that most of you guys made it. Um, you should be seeing some changes, hopefully in the next 30 days or so, to the content, including, well, I don't want to give away anything. You'll just have to stick around and find out. But I really can't thank you all enough for joining me for today's video, as well as for joining me uh, along my YouTube journey that I've been on for about 13 years now. It's been a serious trip. It's been so much fun. A lot of ups, a lot of downs, but it's important that you analyze each of those ups and downs so that you know what went into them, why they happened, how they happened, so that you can get more ups and stay as far away from the downs as possible. So thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you all. I love you all. Thank you for making my dreams come true every single day. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your year, and I hope you have a fantastic new year as well. <sighs> Take it easy.